Hello everyone. This is the second video of algorithm. In this video, we are going to write an algorithm to check eligibility for voting and to check smallest number between two numbers. So first, we'll write the algorithm to check eligibility for voting. In previous video of algorithm, we have discussed that while entering any value, we are going to use read word in algorithm and to display the result, we are going to use display word. So first step of any algorithm is what? Start and last. And last step of any algorithm is what? Stop. So in step one, we'll start the algorithm like this. Now in step two, we declare the variables. Now, how many variables will be required here? See, this program is to check eligibility for voting. So we just need to enter the age that is only one value. And to store one value, we need only one variable for storing the age of the candidate. So I'll declare only one variable like this. The name of the variable is what? A. Now, in step three, we'll enter the value that is age on which we want to perform the operation. So I'll use read word with one variable because we will enter only one value that is age and that age will be stored in variable A. So this is the third step, read A. Here A is what? My variable. And this A variable is going to hold the age of the candidate. Consider I entered 21 here. 21 is what? The age. And I want to check whether the candidate with 21 age is eligible for voting or not. Now in step 4, we'll check whether the candidate is eligible for voting or not. Now, what is the eligibility for voting? Our age should be 18 or greater than 18. If age is greater than 18 or equal to 18, then only will be eligible for voting, else we won't be eligible. So for being eligible, age should be 18 or more than 18. So we will check the eligibility like this. So. If A is greater than or equal to 18, now what is A here? A is the variable which has hold age of the candidate. If value of A is greater than or equal to 18, then we will what will be eligible for voting? Else we will not be eligible for voting. Now, this A greater than or equal to 18 will always answer either yes or no. If it answers yes, then this display will be printed. If answer comes as no, then display after else will be printed. Now considering value of A as 21, let's check it. A is greater than or equal to 18. Now what is the value of A? It's 21. Let's check. 21 is greater than 18. Yes, it is. What I got as answer? Yes, that means which display part will be printed? This one, you are eligible. That means a candidate with age 21 is eligible for voting. Now let's check one another age. Consider I entered 17 in variable A. 17 is what? My age. And I want to check whether the candidate is with age 17 is eligible for voting or not. Considering, considering the same. 17 is greater than 18? No. 17 is equal to 18? No. This time I got answer as no. That means display after else, this one, you are not eligible for voting, will be printed. So in this way, we can check eligibility for voting. And the last step is what? Stop. Now we'll write the algorithm to check smallest number between two numbers. So first step will be what? Start. Second step, in second step, we'll declare the variables. Now how many variables will be required here? Only two variables, why? Because here we are going to check smallest number between two numbers. So here I declared two variables, n1 and n2. In n1 variable, I'll store first value. In n2 variable, I'll store the second value, okay. Now in step three, we'll enter the value which we want to compare. So my next step will be read N1 and N2. In this step, 
I'll enter two values. So that's why I wrote read n1 and n2. Suppose I enter 10 and 20, 10 and 20. 10 and 20. So here 10 is what? My first value, that is value of n1 and 20 is what? My second value, that is value of n2. And I want to check that out of 10 and 20, which one is the smallest number? So now in step four, we'll check whether n1 is smallest number, that is 10 is smallest number or n2 is smallest, that is 20. So in step four, we'll check like this. If n1 less than n2, if n1 less than n2, that means which one is the smallest number? n1, so we'll display n1 is the smallest number, but if n1 is not smallest number, then n2 will be the smallest number. So this is how we are going to check. And last step will be what? Stop. This n1 less than n2 will always answer either yes or no. If it answers yes, then display after if will be printed. If answer comes as no, then display after else will be printed. Let's check it with some value. Value of n1 is what 10 and value of n2 is what 20. So let's check that. 10 in 10 is less than 20? Yes, it is. What I got as answer? Yes, that means display after if will be printed. That is n1 is the smallest number. What is the value of n1? It's 10, which is the correct answer. Out of 10 and 20, 10 is the smallest number. Let's check another number. Uh, let's swap it. Value of n1 is 20 now and value of n2 is 10 now. So let's check. 20 is less than 10 20 is less than 10 no it is not answer is what no as i got answer as no that means display after else will be printed which is n2 is the smallest number now what is the value of n2 we have swapped no so value of n2 is what 10 so our message will be n2 is the smallest number what is the value of n2 it's 10 that means 10 is the smallest number which is the correct answer so in this way we can check smallest number between two numbers.